Hi, and welcome to the Home Assistant running on Synology in Docker. Today we are going to install AppDemon. We'll start in a couple of seconds. Today we are going to install AppDemon in the Docker, of course, on our Synology. If you are wondering what AppDemon is, AppDemon is let's call it the alternative to automations. It's not really automation system, but AppDemons is Python environment that enables you to create various automations, a little bit different than you would, for example, in Home Assistant or by using Node-RED. Personally, I do not have any kind of experience with it but it was on my personal to-do list for a long, long, long time, so I wanted to try and install it. Let's get cracking. Before we begin, AppDemon requires two things. One thing, of course, is to prepare, download, configure and run AppDemon Docker. But the second thing we will need for the installation is something that we have to do in Home Assistant and that is to get long live access token. For that, let's press our icon next to the name. Let's go to the bottom of this page and let's create new token. We will call it up demon. Okay. And here is your token. Copy it. And be sure to save it somewhere because you will need it during the process of creating Docker container. Let's close this and let's open up our putty. Let's select our server. Let's log in. And now we have to create a folder where we'll be keeping our permanent configuration files and various other files needing for AppDemon to work. Let's type following command mkdir volume 1 docker app daemon and this should be it. We can now start typing the sudo command and it will be a long one but we'll run through it quickly. So it will be sudo for super user do docker run. We want to start it in detached terminal mode so it will be itd. There are two ways you can use it. You can use it either with nethost and this will allow us to use the Synology IP address or we can use it with the port definition without nethost and that would use internal docker network and map it to external port on our Synology. For this video I will be using nethost so it will be net equals host. Next thing is restart command and we want it to restart always. Now we have to type uh, three environment variables. First one will be the URL for our home assistant. So it will be e h a underscore URL equals quote HTTP. And here you have to type in your Synology or your home assistant IP address with the port at the end. Let's close quote. Next environment variable will be token and this is the token we previously created inside Home Assistant, long live access token. So let's paste it here. Let's close quote. And third environment variable will be URL for the app daemon dashboard. So this will be e dash URL equals open quote HTTP 192.168.1201 with the port 5050. This is default port for the app daemon. Next we want to 
map the folder we previously created with the internal configuration folder of the app daemon. So this will be minus V volume one docker app daemon and it will be mapped with the folder called conf c o n f following volume mapping is not mandatory but it can prevent you problems when there is difference between the time zone or time inside your docker container or app daemon and time that your synology is giving you so to prevent that we will type following minus v atc local time and we will be mapping it with the ATC local time but with read only and since we want to give this docker container name let's do it now name equals app daemon and let's specify what the image we want to download so it's a c o c k b u r n app the uh, 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 latest let's press enter to download it while we are downloading this image i just want to inform you that i've created discord server so not only that you can ask questions here in the comment section you can also join the discord server and ask your questions or post your ideas there Okay, at this point, App Daemon should be up and running, uh, but we still have a couple of steps to do before we can use the web uh, UE. So let's just check Portainer and see what errors we have in our Portainer. Containers, App Daemon, running for a few seconds. That usually means that it is restarting. So let's check the log files. And as you can see, it is giving us errors that we are missing time zone, latitude, longitude, and elevation inside our AppDemon config file. Okay, let's fix this. First thing we have to do is we have to go to AppDemon and stop container. And next thing that we want to do is we want to go to Synology. Inside Synology, let's open File Station, AppDemon. And here you can see that AppDemon created two folders and a configuration file and we want to edit this configuration file. But before we edit it, let's right click on it, let's go to properties and let's change permissions here. As you can see currently admin has custom per uh, permissions and administrators and everyone else has read only permission. We want to change this. Let's double click. And let's select right and OK and just press yes here. Also we can do this for everyone. OK. If you do not do this, any change you make in this configuration file will not be saved even if you press save button. Let's open this and let's add all those missing things. So they are latitude. Longitude, elevation, time zone. Of course, now you have to enter the values. So for me, time zone is Europe Zagreb. Elevation roughly for me is 110. And let me copy, let me copy just city center for Zagreb. Latitude and longitude let's save it as you can see our file is currently 350 bytes when we save it it will be 400 something okay so the changes are in also you can see that you have those urls we typed previously here and our token key too let's close this let's go back to portainer and in portainer we can press start let's check logs and this time we do not see any error our hello world application is running 
what we can do now is of course we can go to a web interface for the app daemon and this is the web interface web interface is available on the IP address of your um, docker host or Synology with the port 5050 information is we are running AppDemon version 4.0.1 this is the date and time of the when we booted the server and this is the current uptime of the server apps are currently installed apps entities are entities that have been pulled from the uh, home assistant threads I really do not know what are but I presume since it allows to run parallel threads meaning what applications are running in parallel callbacks really have no idea and logs here you can find information from the uh, app daemon logs let's see uh, dashboards we currently have only one dashboard this is hello world let's press it and this is how it looks let's go back and this is it at this point app daemon is up and running as I've mentioned previously, I never ever used AppDemon. Um, this was my goal for a long time to install it and have it up and running because I've seen a couple of uh, cases where people use it and it allows you to really customize automations more than you can probably do in Node-RED and definitely more than you can do in automations. But on the other hand, it requires you Python knowledge of Python and that's not my area of expertise well in fact none of the computer languages are my area of expertise but I've seen a couple of cases and I will post links down in the video description where you can find some examples and some applications for AppDemon unfortunately this is it for me for today it's already late and I want to have this video ready for release tomorrow we can continue talking about app daemon on the discord server so if you have any kind of a question comment suggestion or you want to showcase your app daemon uh, script or application you made or found on the internet please post it on the discord i will gladly look into it but this is it for today i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any kind of a comment or a question, leave it down below in the comment section or drop it in a Discord server. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button and I will be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye and have fun!